I'd like to call on another uh, triad, uh, Gerard Sheehan, the Executive Director of the Fletcher School, Mary Delatre, the Assistant Director of Student Affairs at Fletcher, and Diane Mazzurano, the Research Director at the Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy, who will introduce Roxanne Cristalli. First thing I want to say to the undergraduates is, if and when you decide that you want to attend graduate school, I know of a school on this campus that would be delighted to enroll you. In fact, I'm tempted to write a letter of admission with an unspecified date to all of you right this moment. Diane Mazzarana is not with us. Um, with me is Mary Delatre, who coordinates our process, and also Mary Brewsters who coordinates our process of trying to identify an appropriate student each year for this particular event. And the thing that struck me this year as we went through our process was, and I've been affiliated with this event for a number of years, fortunate enough to be affiliated with this event for a number of years, is that never have we received so many endorsements for one student. And I think that in and of itself says everything. In fact, a couple of those endorsers are right here academic dean Ian Johnstone and Michelle Bowdler, who's director of Health, Health Services. Ian and Michelle, you should come up and join us as well when it comes to photo time. Roxanne Cristalli is a challenging student at the very best. Now, she is not willing to accept what is, but she is also someone who seeks to build bridges. And she is an exceptionally easy person with whom to collaborate even as she asks difficult questions. Roxanne quietly, persistently, daily, at both the grassroots level and in policy and educational forums, both in the US and abroad, is working to change how we look at conflict and conflict management by examining gendered perspectives. And I think this is the important point. And then she goes out and she designs and implements programs that benefit, benefit war-affected women across the world. She's worked in Pakistan, Darfur, Egypt, Uganda, Colombia, and Guatemala on such projects. She's worked with Arab parliamentarians, Mayan mothers, and those who are uh, displa displaced ex-combatants. Now, there's no way in two or three minutes that I can tell you everything about what Roxana has contributed both beyond Tufts, but also on the Tufts campus. I will say one thing, though. I think it is very, it's instructive that someone who's outside the immediate Tufts, excuse me, the immediate Fletcher community is also uh, the one who has recommended Roxanne for this award, and that, of course, is Michelle. Now, let me make three illustrative comments with respect to uh, Roxanne, and I hope they give you a sense of who she is. First, in addition to her impressive work beyond the campus, she has been both a leader and a catalyst in the effort to mainstream gender perspectives in our curriculum and in our co-curricular activities. She's done this in numerous ways, but I'll mention just one, and that is developing a roster of speakers for Fletcher events and activities. Speakers who either A, explicitly address gender and gender's impact on issues, or B, women who speak on issues of diversity. And she keeps metrics to make sure that we are, in fact, following through on her suggestions. Second, there's one aspect of Roxanne's engagement with policy issues which is, I think, especially creative and appealing. And that is how to integrate storytelling through photography and through the written and spoken word to achieve understanding and ultimately to drive change. One example is a TEDx talk that Roxanne gave in January down in Guatemala City on narratives in conflict. Now whatever I say today cannot truly capture Roxanne, but if you have 15 minutes later on today, Google her name, Google TEDx, and watch her for 15 minutes. It's actually absolutely compelling. So, that's another um, illustrative comment with respect to Roxanne. 
And the third, and the, way, and the way I'd like to conclude, is with a list of several terms that came through in the numerous notes, letters, emails, recommendations that came in to Mary and me when we were deciding who we were going to nominate for this particular award. And several came through regularly. One, determined. Two, a careful listener. Three, a great sense of humor. In fact, this, this list of um, speakers, he referred to it as a uh, binder full of women. Was that how we, in reference to, of course, uh, Matt, uh, Mitt Romney's famous comment. Uh, she has a winning personality. She's empathetic, she's strong, and she's calm. And the one that I actually heard more often, more frequently, was humble. I think that's a very nice way. Jerry, does that offer from Fletcher extend to Tufts Deans? <laughs>